Now, the best course of action today would probably be to do a deload, and it probably still will be the case. But if I'm feeling particularly good after my warm up, I will be very tempted to start moving some heavier weight. Whether that will be on the machine chest press or with some dumbbells, probably not dumbbells as your shoulder is quite important for stabilizing, especially your rear delt. So <clears throat> that might be pushing it a bit too much, but potentially on the machine press, I could definitely increase my weight from my de last deload session. That is the objective, at least today, I think. And hopefully I don't re-injure my shoulder because that would be an absolute nightmare. Now, I've had a headache just started coming on in literally the last few minutes, which is really annoying but it feels like more of a migraine. So hopefully that will pass in the next hour or so. And I should be good to go. Anyway, I weighed in at 90.65 kg first thing this morning, which wasn't very long ago as I woke up quite late today. I had a line. I just, the last few days I've been waking up to my alarm at 5.30 and then, yeah, just going back into bed for half an hour because I just felt so tired every time I woke up. So today I just decided to not have the alarm set. And I woke up at like 6.45, something like that. So yeah, definitely my body playing catch up on sleep. So yeah, it's something I need to pay more attention to because it's a crucial part of the equation for building muscle and for just being healthy in general. So can't be neglected. And yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's go and get some breakfast. So first up I've got some scrambled eggs with avocado as per usual. Then I've got some porridge oats with protein powder, milk, banana, pear and cinnamon. So after completing a very thorough warm up, I decided that my shoulder was feeling well enough to put my chest and shoulders up to more of a challenge today. So I started off with some machine pressing where I lifted 50 kg, which isn't the most I can lift in this kind of rep range, but still was very challenging. And although I couldn't say that I was going all out, giving absolutely everything on my last reps, I was still getting pretty close to muscular failure. So I would still count these as very intense sets, if not pretty much as intense as they would usually be. So I did four sets on the machine chest press and then moved over to the pec deck for three sets at 35 kg. So once again, not at my maximum weight on this, which I'd usually do 40 kg, but still intense enough to be able to reach muscular failure, which is the ultimate goal. Of course, without putting too much strain on my shoulder as further injuring my shoulder again would put me out of action for quite a while and that wouldn't be productive for this bulk. But fortunately, I can report today that there was no further aggravation on my shoulder and it was feeling relatively good. I won't say pain-free or discomfort-free, but tolerable. So it's a good point to start putting some weight onto my muscles, which I followed up with some machine shoulder pressing for three sets. And I've been sticking to mostly the machines today, mainly because I don't want any stability factors to really come into play with using dumbbells or barbells, as I don't think my shoulder is quite ready for that yet. Hopefully it will be by my next session, as I do really enjoy the incline dumbbell press and want to get back to lifting some heavy dumbbells there. Anyway, I finished up my session with four sets of dumbbell lateral raises. Now, since this is pretty much one of the only options for your side delts along with the cable variation. There was no other alternative and stability doesn't really come into play that much here since it's only 10 kilo dumbbells which aren't particularly heavy. Anyway, then it was time to check out the chest pump which is my first chest pump in a week. So was definitely looking forward to this one and made the most of it. I was staring in the mirror for quite a while in the change rooms after this, this pose down. But yeah, felt really good to have a chest and shoulder pump and it was looking pretty good. Not the best chest or shoulder pump that I've ever had, but still very satisfying to look at indeed. Then I finished up the whole session with 30 minutes of cardio on the seated bike as per usual. Then for my post-workout meal, I've got some Greek yogurt with fruit and nuts. Then I've got some steaks with veggies and potatoes. Then I've got some chicken breast with some veggies and a sweet potato. And that concludes another pretty damn solid day of bulking. I put my calories and macros for the day on screen for you, about 3,800 calories consumed once again. 
And it's been about a week and a half since I've been consistently eating this many calories or in this kind of ballpark. And my weight has pretty much stayed the same during this time, which is somewhat concerning. So I might need to raise the calories, although I'm gonna stick with my current plan of seeing this out for three weeks and then evaluating so that I can have a, a fair week to week comparison to go by. And then I can make the judgment call of whether I need to bump up my calories by another 250 or so to 4,000 more consistently or whether to stay the same and make slower weight gain, which is the ideal goal. I wanna be gaining weight slowly so that most of that weight is muscle rather than fat. But also I do wanna be gaining weight because if I'm not gaining weight, I'm probably not building as much muscle as I could be. I'm not saying I wouldn't be building any muscle by maintaining my weight because obviously I've got body fat and that will be used as an energy source to build more muscle, but it's not, optimal and I do quite like the idea of bulking and cutting more than main gaining. Now, that's a personal opinion. I know a lot of people are very up in arms about this topic. So yeah, I'm not gonna go much further into it because I already get enough <laughs> comments abusing me about the amount of calories I'm consuming on a regular basis. But at the end of the day, the amount of calories you're consuming is entirely based on the individual. For people who always comment, oh, 3,800 or 4,000 calories does way too much. But I asked the question, A, are you six foot two? B, do you weigh over 90 kg? C, do you train every day, weightlifting and cardio? Four, do you, well, I just switched from letters to numbers. D, do you walk like 8K, 8 to 10K steps per day? E, do you have Tourette syndrome where you, you twitch constantly throughout the day, you know? There's a lot of factors that come into play here that are burning calories, some more significant than others, but just due to my sheer size, I need more calories. <laughs> I can't just, like, I wouldn't be gaining any muscle at 3,000 calories, I assure you. I've tried it before. It doesn't work for me. That's too few calories. I was about to say I wish it could be that few, but I do quite like eating food as well. That comes into play. And that's why I like the idea of bulking. It allows me to eat as much as I want without feeling guilty about it so that when it comes time to cut, I can be more disciplined and I haven't used up all my willpower trying to be rest too restrictive with my diet on my bulk. Now, a lot of people look at my diet and think, well, that's really restrictive. I mean, I had comments saying that my eating is quite plain and bland, which fair enough. Some people would think that, but ultimately because I don't eat any junk food, really, I mean, there's some things you could call junk food, but for the most part, I'd say 95% of my diet is clean food, which means that my taste buds aren't overly stimulated. I don't require really sweet things or really spicy things or not that I don't like really sweet and really spicy things. I love spicy food. I love sweet things, but I don't need the kind of extreme versions of those to satisfy those cravings. Like I can just put a bit of seasoning on some chicken or some beef and that does the job. I don't need to be using some kind of crazy sauce or I don't need to be eating a bag of sweets to satisfy my sugar, my sweetness cravings. I just eat fruit. That, that does the job. So yeah, that is the whole advantage of clean eating. It allows you, once you go, the more clean you go with your food, the less you crave foods that are gonna be worse for you or are gonna lead to worse eating habits. And you might be thinking, well, how can spicy food lead to worse eating habits? Well, a lot of processed food that you'll buy from your kebab shop or you go to the Chinese or you go to an Indian, a lot of that food is gonna be on a more spicier palate. I mean, depending on what you order, right? But you don't wanna be eating at those kind of places often at all because they're full of shit that is not good for you at all. Lunch, bunch of seed oils, rampant on the calories, not very nutritious in terms of protein, got a bunch of extra added carbs in there that are just useless. It's just not something I wanna be doing on a regular basis. It's something I have done before on a regular basis. And ultimately moving over to a cleaner approach was my solution to that because I couldn't control myself. And that's ultimately what this is, an exercise of self-control. And that's just the way I accomplish it. So yeah, if it's not for you, it's not for everyone. You know, my approach isn't gonna be the same as everyone else's approach. There's a lot of different factors at play here that you have to consider before ridiculing anyone's approach in any way. You've got to really dive into the whole context of the situation because everyone's dealing with different parameters. Anyway, enough rambling about that. Tomorrow, it's gonna to be back and rear delts. So hopefully, my shoulder isn't feeling dodgy when I wake up in the morning and I'm able to do another lift where I can actually push myself. I don't think I'll be doing any crazy heavy sets because I think that'd be just a bit stupid, but still can put 
some decent load on my back and rear delts because yeah that's what i enjoy doing anyway i'll hopefully see you tomorrow cheers